The first thing is to print out the template. After you have all of the parts of the template, it comes like this in size A4. And you're going to go ahead and assemble the template and it will be a much larger size. And so you're going to put it onto your board. The soldier is 1 meter and 54 centimeters. For the board, you can use a cardboard sheet, a Depron XBS polystyrene sheet, or foam board, your decision. I used a five millimeter thick foam board and I cut out the whole bottom part of the template because the board is not the size of the whole template. So I left the hat for after to add on to the template and the hat will be glued on here afterwards. I also cut out some black and white paper strips and now I'm gonna make some light cuts on the strips so that they are more malleable and I'm able to make the curves on my sculpture. Once I've done this part and cut out all of the strips, I begin to assemble my sculpture. First I'm going to assemble the straighter section and then I'm going to do the bottom part as well. And so I'm going to use a glue gun for this and glue along the edge and then glue on each part. No rush, no stress. And you can see that I cut the board but that they were light cuts. They didn't cut all the way through the board, just lightly in order for the strip to be more malleable and rounded. And so I do my gluing on the rounded sections of my sculpture. For this, I also use a glue gun. If you want to get rid of excess glue, you can get a strip of board and use it to remove excess glue in the section that you're gluing. You can do this part really slowly, it's no problem. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the link to the template here in the video description for you to access. And it comes with all the correct sizings for you. And now I'm just gonna let the music play whilst I finish my gluing and I'll be back. In order to assemble our soldier's military hat, you're first gonna assemble the hat structure. For the hat, I used black foam paper, also five millimeters thick. And now we just need to join it to the body. To join it together, I used a foam paper rectangle and white glue to join together, gluing it to both the bottom of the hat and the bottom of the body. Once I've glued that on, I also add on the face. I made a template for the face, also using a 14.5 cm strip. And on the outside, I used a 15 cm strip, same as I used for the hat. And now we just need to paint our soldier. I used gouache paint to paint the trousers black, following the template. And I also painted the shirt with yellow details. Obviously, I didn't need to paint the hat, but I painted the hair black. If you have paint that is skin colored, you can paint the soldier's face and hands. Once I'd finished all of my painting, it was time to complete the face. And for the face, I printed out the template on paper and then I glued the template onto an EVA foam sheet. I used EVA foam and also red card. And for the eyes and mustache, I used black EVA foam. For the details on the shirt, I used blue EVA foam and also gold metallic paper. Just like this. I drew around the eye with a thick, permanent pen. Just the upper part of the eye. Take a look at the result, how good does it look? Having done this, I'm going to glue on the moustache, which I also cut out on EVA foam sheets. And for the cheeks, 
I made using red number seven. It's time to blow up the balloons and to fill up the leg section. For this, I blew balloons up to 4.5 inches for the legs and for the body, and 5 inch balloons for the arms. For the face, I used balloons blown up to 4.5 inches, and also smaller balloons which were just 2 pumps of air, just to be able to fit into the side sections. But as you go along, you can see what size you need your balloons to be. For the upper part of the hat, I used six 4.5 inch balloons and two 4 inch balloons. In order to add on the cutout face templates, I used transparent acetate, a rectangular sheet more or less the same size as a face, and went ahead and glued the facial details onto the template, just like this. To make the nose, I used permanent pen. So you just need to design on the plastic acetate and after you can just go ahead and glue it onto the face. Once I've done the face, I just need to glue on the features in the correct places and then glue the face onto the soldier. I glued it on using a glue gun. To make the buttons, you can use the same technique using the plastic acetate. You can glue the details onto the acetate and then glue onto the soldier and it will look really nice. Once you've done all this, take a look at the finished result. It looks so nice and it should be about 1 meter 54 centimeters high. It's really big and it will look really cool in photos and it can be used to decorate in so many different ways. I hope you enjoyed this, I'm going to stick around here, lots of love to you all and see you for the next craft, bye!